Hey, what's up y'all? This is Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my delicious homemade eggnog from scratch. Now, this eggnog consists of milk, cream, sugar, a little spice like nutmeg, and it also contains eggs that have been whipped really, really good until it's doubled in size. And in addition to that, we add some bourbon right on in there. This recipe calls for you to make about four cups of eggnog, which can be adjusted to make about eight cups if you double the recipe. It's perfect for holidays, mostly Christmas, and it's absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all you need to make your homemade eggnog. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need some whole milk, and some heavy whipping cream. Now you can use half and half in place of this, okay? You will also need some large eggs at room temperature, sugar, salt, vanilla extract, ground nutmeg, and these next two ingredients are optional, ground cinnamon and bourbon whiskey. Now I'm definitely going to use the bourbon whiskey for this recipe. I really do think that that's what makes the eggnog special. And for your tools, you will need a whisk, a silicone spatula, a wooden spatula, a hand mixer. Now, if you don't have the hand mixer, you can just use the uh, whisk and you'll be good to go. And you will also need some plastic wrap. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. So in this measuring cup, this is a, a four and a half cup measuring cup. You wanna make sure that your uh, beater blades of your hand mixer can fit in there. And if you're using a whisk, you can use a uh, small bowl to uh, mix your ingredients. All right, so I'm gonna add four large eggs at room temperature, the whole egg, everything, the egg yolk and egg white, just add it in there. And to that, I'm gonna add a half a cup of sugar and one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna take my mixer and I'm gonna mix this on high speed for about three to four minutes. And what's gonna happen is, is that the uh, eggs are gonna double in size. They're gonna whip up really nice. It's nice, creamy, and pale and thick. And if you're using a whisk, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna whisk it vigorously. You're gonna mix it just a little bit to incorporate the sugar and the eggs, and then you're gonna mix it vigorously for three to four minutes. All right, it's been about four minutes now. And as you can see here, our mixture is nice and mixed together really well. And it has also doubled in size. It's exactly what we're looking for. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and pour the egg, the whipped egg mixture into this medium sized bowl. Treat your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started with heating up our milk and our cream mixture. So in the medium sized pot, I'm going to add one cup of whole milk. And to that, I'm going to add one cup of heavy whipping cream. And if you're using half and half, add two cups right on in there. I'm going to take my wooden spatula and I'm just going to give this a quick stir. Now you're going to let this come to a slight simmer. That should take about three to four minutes. All right, y'all, as y'all can see here, our mixture is at a slight simmer here. So I'm going to just go ahead and give this one last final quick stir. And there we go, it's ready. Now you're going to go ahead and turn your fire off. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my whisk and I'm just gonna uh, stir this. Now don't worry about that at the bottom. As you're stirring it, it'll come together. And while we're stirring this, we're gonna pour the hot milk and cream mixture in here three separate times. So I'm gonna pour the first amount in. Now what I'm doing here is I'm tempering the eggs so that way they won't turn into scrambled eggs. Now I'm going to go ahead and pour the second amount in there. And the third amount right on in there. And while I'm at it, I'm going to add one fourth cup of the bourbon whiskey right on in there. Now, if you want a stronger version of this eggnog, um, you're not going to add the whiskey in at this time. I'm going to let you know when to add it at a later time. All right, that looks good. Preach your fire to medium-low heat. 
All right, now I'm going to pour my milk and cream and egg mixture back into my medium sized pot. Now I'm going to take my heat resistant silicone spatula and I'm just going to stir this continuously for about three to four minutes. Now you don't want to go past four minutes because your mixture will uh, overcook. So about three to four minutes is uh, good enough. All right, it's been about four minutes now and our mixture is ready. Now you're gonna go ahead and turn your fire off. All right, let me remove the mesh strain out of here. And as you can see here, there are no egg particles in my custard. That lets me know that I didn't overcook it. Now, if your custard is overcooked, you'll notice egg particles in the mesh strainer and your custard will have a strong eggy like smell. All right, next up, I'm gonna add three teaspoons of vanilla extract. One fourth heaping teaspoon of nutmeg, that means it's filled past the top. Now, if you're adding cinnamon, you're going to add one fourth teaspoon of that in there. And remember, I told you about the, uh, the whiskey. If you want a stronger eggnog, you can add about one third cup of the bourbon whiskey right on in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my whisk and I'm just going to stir this until combined. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and take some plastic wrap. And I'm going to just carefully add the plastic wrap on top of the eggnog custard mixture. This is going to prevent the skin from forming on the top. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and cover this. Now I'm going to go ahead and place this into my refrigerator for about 8 to 12 hours. All right, y'all, the eggnog has chilled. I actually had it in my refrigerator for about 15 hours. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove the uh, plastic wrap off the top. And from now I'm going to take my... Um, my wooden spatula and give this one last final quick stir. And after that, your eggnog is ready to be served. Now you can serve this by adding the eggnog into a mug or a cup or anything like that. Just pour it right on in there. All right, here I have some uh, nutmeg and cinnamon mixed together. That's about one fourth teaspoon of each. And you could just take that and just sprinkle that on top. You could also add some whipped cream or some uh, meringue on top of there. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, homemade eggnog made from scratch by a New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. Now, I have an official website for all of my recipes, including for this delicious homemade eggnog. You can go to www.charlycookandrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Can't wait. All right, y'all, here goes nothing. Charlie's Taste Test. Here it is. I'm gonna try it out and see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh yeah. Wait, let me try one more time. One more time. Mmm. Boom. One more time. One more time. Y'all, this eggnog is nice. It's creamy. It's thick. You can taste the flavor of the nutmeg and that vanilla. It's actually like, like a custard, so to speak. And that whiskey. Oh, I'm about to be on the floor. <laughs>
<laughs> you could taste the whiskey most definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm already getting tipsy. Oh, yeah. This is the real deal right here. So give the recipe a try. And that's about it. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace.